news of fresh unrest in the West Bank after a week of intense violence and tensions. A Palestinian terrorist opened fire at the Israeli checkpoint at the occupied West Bank early on Saturday morning. The Israeli forces claim the firefight claimed the life of an Israeli security guard at the scene. The shooter was identified as a 17-year-old boy who used an MI6 rifle for the onslaught at the Kalandia checkpoint. A militant group named Al-Aqsa Martyrs Brigade has claimed responsibility for this attack. The terror outfit is also speculated to be associated with Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas's Fatah party. Now, the past week has seen an escalation of skirmishes in the West Bank between Israeli forces and Palestinians. On Monday, six Palestinians were reportedly killed and several Israeli servicemen were wounded during a heavy clash. The Israeli forces had raided the city of Jenin to capture a suspected terrorist. The Palestinian Health Ministry claimed that 91 were left wounded in the attack, including a 15-year-old girl who later succumbed to her injuries. All of this comes in the backdrop of Israel's plans to move ahead with 1,000 new settlements in the occupied West Bank. The plan approves 4,560 housing units in various areas of the West Bank. White House National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan spoke to his Israeli counterpart on Friday and encouraged to thaw the tense situation in the West Bank. The U.S. had previously brokered peace talks between Palestinians and Israel aimed at establishing a Palestinian state in the West Bank. However, the negotiations collapsed in 2014 with no signs of revival in sight. On the other hand, Israel is roiled with protests over the judicial reforms as President Benjamin Netanyahu has announced to move ahead with the reforms. The Netanyahu government has proposed to make amendments to the judicial system that would allow the government the power to appoint judges. It has sparked one of the largest civilian protests in Israel's history. Israelis have vehemently denounced the judicial reform plan, accusing Netanyahu's government of a series of corruption cases. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.